What's up everybody? Brett here, back today playing some more StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. And we are picking up where we left off last time, guys. We had, I think, settled on taking the contract on Zill, the dig. Recover the Zill Naga artifact. We're going to go ahead and play Tychus' message here. That way you guys can get up to speed. But the point is, we are going to unlock the siege tank, uh, which is one of the best units in the Terran arsenal. Long range artillery in siege mode, and you can just pack it in. And use it to attack. So let's go ahead and play this. Mobius wants us to go after another artifact on some dead world called Zill. Apparently they sent in a specialist team. But they lost contact with them two days ago. Their bad luck, I guess. Figure we'll get hazard pay for this one. Hell yeah, give me that hazard pay. So, the Protoss research is going to do great things for us. Uh, get us closer to the next tier of Protoss research. Um, but mainly we just want the siege tanks, guys. This is a fun mission. Let's go ahead and jump so in. here's the deal. This place is a morgue. Whatever used to live in these ruins up and died millions of years ago. Before they went missing, the Mobius team reported artifact radiation emanating from that big old hunk of rock over yonder. They brought a big damn laser drill to burn the way in. Laser drill? That thing's a monster. If the Mobius team had access to that kind of hardware, I need to think about what could have wiped them out. Reckon we'll find out soon enough, partner. Oh yeah, we get to play with the giant laser drill. One of the coolest parts of this mission. That's the one thing I love about this this game in particular is that almost every mission feels so unique. Watch your corners, boys. We don't know who cleaned this place out. Who wants some? More Terran thieves. The mysteries of this place are forbidden. You will pay for your transgressions with your lives. Wow, we lost. That's not good. What happened to the other expedition? Well, we lost our marauder. But we probably don't need him. Orders received. Hold up there. Those Protoss cannons will tear us a new one if we try to advance. Swan, you promised me siege tanks. Where are they? Settle down, hotshot. They're coming. These babies will knock those cannons down from a nice safe distance. All right. Pro tip, just destroy the one pylon. <laughs> Way easier. Yes, sir. Now they do splash damage, siege tanks. And in this form, they have a range of 13. It's pretty damn impressive. But if we got too close to their, their shots, we would take damage. These new siege tanks work just like the old ones. When you put them in siege mode, they get increased range and firepower. They can't move in siege mode, so if you need to reposition them, just switch them back into tank mode. You got it? Yes. What's that? I already know. Come on. Let me do it. Let's get some siege tanks deployed on the high ground. They can pound that Protoss stalker before it even gets close to us. What's up? All right, let's pack them back up. So our defensive game as the Terran just just got so much stronger. Between our, our really powerful bunkers and now having the ridiculous range of the sea tank. Mobius base local net accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Transferring control of base structures to you, Commander. Fired up. 174 gigawatts. The power of the sun at your fingertips. Now get it aimed at that door and let's get cutting. Laser output is good. Drilling will take some time, but there's no other way into the temple. Sir, the Taldarim are mobilizing their forces against us. We're gonna get ready. We're well suited so for we'll a a base defense. And protect the drill until we're through. Just glad we've got siege tanks. 
We've got upgraded missile turrets as well, which is important for this mission. Okay, first things first. Economy, as always. Get our siege tanks situated. We need bunkers and siege tanks defending that laser drill. We got no chance of claiming the artifact without it. I never... What's that? All right, we're going to put this drill... Actually, it won't even let me do it yet. But we're going to be able to use the drill as a weapon pretty damn soon. Yeah, it's not letting me do it. That's okay. Big job, huh? In the rear with you know what, let's just get that going. What's going on? And let's get... Hmm. Let's get a bunker here. And let's get a bunker... Here. And that'll be the beginnings of our base defense. what's left of the Mobius Expedition sensor net. I'll route it through your map so you can see what the Taldarim are up to. So one of the biggest things about this mission is you've got to take the secondary base. Really as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Add on. Let's Complete. get over there. SCV ready. We're good on supply. You gonna give me orders? Let's get a couple marines in there. Make sure we're constantly building workers. We're gonna need them. Please state the nature SCV of your ready. Not enough minerals. All right, good job defending there. And let's make a hot group four, perhaps. SCV ready. Okay, we've got extra Vespine gas if we need it. Let's get you in there. And against the Protoss, you don't really need fire bats. SCV ready. Definitely just stick with your uh, your Marauders and your Marines. They'll do just fine. Would be my advice. Bad news. I will say, I feel like yep. we need someone working on the uh, on? SCV ready. the problem there. Of supply, making sure that we don't get supply capped on accident. We're very close. We're kind of cutting it a little too close. Additional supply depots required. Build some extra. Need some visit critical. I want to start building siege tanks, but we just can't afford it yet. Alright, just barely supply block. Not not too bad. Here they come from this side, though. You can watch them on the mini-map. Once we actually have control of this, we can tell it to stop shooting this doorway, and we can use it to snipe out some of the, uh, the units that come to attack us. And very soon, we're going to probably make Upgrade complete. the uh, command center in our base, and then we're going to lift it off and bring it over there and probably turn it into a fortress uh, to help it defend itself. Let's see, how much for a new command center? It's 400 minerals. It's quite a bit. And they're forming up on pretty much all sides now. Tell you what, let's just get some siege. We need siege tanks. Or very soon we're going to have a hard time defending these spots. Maybe get two. And then let's make another supply depot. Yeah, very strong defense here. We put our siege tanks on the right side. But we want to keep an SCV there for defensive purposes. Additional supply depots required. And I'm also going to want... SCV ready. ...to build this up a little bit. Yeah, we're pushing back the building of our... Next command center. Now's a great time to build it, though. I think we gotta just get this done. Alright, 
right, we've got those getting built. That's great. You would desecrate that which belongs to the gods. Oh god, they've got archons this and immortals. Not be borne by the faithful. Sir, those are Protoss archons. If they get too close, our men won't stand a chance. I'm giving you manual control of the laser drill. Hell See yeah. If you can use it against the Protoss. All right, you heard the man. Swing that laser around. We can just use it like to drive that. back the Protoss. And really, anything else that they're going to use, we're going to attack. Standing by. Go ahead and put him over there. I use it to take out the Immortal. They're anti-tank weapons, and they're super tanky. Go ahead. So that's definitely something we needed to, to take care of. Please state the nature of your medical... What's our target? Alright, we're starting to get to the point economically where I can afford to spend. This is about to be done, and then we'll have better, uh... Let's see, we've got that. Let's add it to this. Hot group. Boom. Get the cannon online. First. Then let's go ahead and get a bunker. And we'll populate that bunker as soon as we can. We need to be continuously watching the map. Yeah, that sucked. For opportunities to, to kill Archons. This is hard mode, so if we just kind of let them gather in large groups, we're going to lose units. Like that siege tank we just lost. The laser drill has reached the door's outer layer. Is it critical? Upgrade complete. Not enough minerals. Alright, and we need to start building. Go ahead. Bad news. More supply Not depots. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. Been waiting on you. SCV ready. Minerals are a bit of our choke point right now. Let's need get that trial. going. You guys are going to be part of our mobile SCV force. SCV which we're assembling here. Additional supply depots required. And let's go ahead and just max out these missile turrets up here. I remember being hit by air units at Enemy some point. Air units on approach vector. Yep, there we go. Right on schedule. Air units, nothing. Those are transports. Use the laser to knock them down fast. You gotta get some of them. Hey, hey, hey. We need that damn drill. Don't trash it. Yeah, somebody must have hit it. You want a piece of me, boy? Get that refinery online. Additional supply depots required. There we go. We're getting stuff built. Go ahead. But we need many, many, many more of these. We also could use more of upgrade complete. Our uh, man, my my brain is going blank, guys. I'm so like focused. We could definitely use more uh, bunkers as well. Additional supply depots. There we go. We're getting them. He's under attack. Got no patience. Let's get that going there. Sir, I'm picking up the energy signatures of several Protoss relics in the area. I'm marking them on your map. Call down some of these dudes. Well, if there's time, we can blast them free with a laser drill. Oh, we will. Stedman would love to study them. We will for sure. I don't want to get some Goliaths, but maybe we should just build a couple more siege tanks at the moment. It's go time. So here are the locations. We're gonna get there. Additional Let's at the very least take out these immortals. Additional supply depots required. Otherwise we're gonna have a hard time with these groups. Sometimes the laser doesn't focus very well. Make sure we're repairing. 
They have a hardened shell that makes it difficult for them to take damage. Alright, our defensive group Additional supply depot has come together supply. nicely, but we do need a hell of a lot of supply depots. And every one we finish, we basically instantly need another one. We're going to use our mercs to take... Ooh, we need to build an armory as well. Let's see. We are going to use our mercs to go out and take those locations for us. Sure thing. What's going on? How about this? Additional supply Get you in there. Get some more tanks. And we need even more supply. Yes, sir. Just go nuts with it. Hey, it on me. SCV ready. Go ahead. Your job is going to be to heal up. And let's kill some of these Archons. Got no patience. SCV ready. Yeah, the drills seem to take a long time to get there, but they got there eventually, I guess. Take that one out. And the cannon here should not be underestimated. It's doing a lot of damage. We should leave one SCV free to repair as needed. And is there anything else I need to build? I could make another factory, perhaps. You guys come over here. It's your time. Let's build that. The laser drill is now cutting through the door's thermal barrier. Base is under attack. All right, great job, everybody. And this is probably enough of a force to start messing with these doors. Come over here real quick, and we can use the laser to even make our lives a lot easier. Mineral field depleted. All right, move forward a little bit more. Take them out. All right, good stuff. And then let's use the laser drill on the Zonaga Shrine. Alright, there's a Protoss relic, and we're gonna get the Sir, other one here. More air units inbound. We gotta take them out, or they'll keep dropping troops right on top of us. Oh, this is bad. Base, our is under SCVs attack. are under attack. Okay, I didn't think they would send their air units from this angle. Oh no. Alright, they got good angles on us. We can repair what we what we lost. This better be good. Come over here. Okay. And let's go ahead and just make a bunch of marines. Let's destroy this shrine. They've got more immortals coming, and we are short on tanks. We do have two bunkers here, which gives me some confidence. Field depleted. Go, go, go. If I was a little more Johnny on the spot with our laser use, we probably wouldn't have to worry about anything. Um, 
There we go. Let's kill some of these Archons. A lot of our SCVs are becoming useless, so instead of keeping them just for healing and repairing, let's just send them out to get killed to free up supply. We've got him running the gauntlet there. This better be good. Crush these. Base is under attack. Base is under attack. Here. All right, and then we're gonna get our war pigs, and we're gonna go and, and get to that next spot. Mineral oh, we'll do. Send them out to die. War pigs coming in. Send these guys out to die as well. And just like that, we've got a pretty damn strong group. Made just out of mercs. Let's kill these Archons and clear them out of here. Our SCVs are under attack. Alright guys, let's roll. Field that slow is so effective. So the Archons are like all shields. If you destroy their shields, you basically kill the Archon because they have like no life. You gonna give me orders? Ready to roll out. All right, let's get up the hill. So there is an achievement on this map for, like, destroying their bases. But I don't think we really need to go that far. By the number, you gonna give me orders? We certainly could, though. But if we just focus on defense, we've basically already won. These guys over here. Ah, big job, huh? Send you guys to get wrecked. All the time we take using the the laser as a weapon, we're missing out on opportunities to use it as a as a quest objective. So we start losing time. Is basically what I was trying to say. But with enough tanks, I mean, our crossfire is insane. Thermal barrier breached. The laser drill is now cutting through the core. Very close. They seek to be found the legacy of the gods. Destroy them. Geyser exhausted. All right, that's three more SCVs freeing up supply. In the rear with the Our SCVs are under attack. Oh, now they've got Colossi. So they this is where it gets dangerous. This is where you actually have to use the drill. Or you could suffer some serious losses. The drill instantly kills them, even though they have basically 350 HP. Our SCVs are under attack. There we go. Because they walk up cliffs. Kind of a cool thing about them. They have great range as well. There we go. All right. Let's make a ton of Goliaths now. There's another wave of air units heading your way. These guys just won't give up. Stick it to them, boys. Is under attack. All right. This is awful because the void rays outrange us. Base is under attack. But there we go. Thanks to our bunker upgrades, we actually do have the ability. Go ahead. Kaboom! 
to shoot them with the Marines inside the bunker. Now we can kind of move out now and start killing if we want. Alright, you guys aren't busy. I'm sure we have enough units on repair. Oh no, I accidentally let my units get pulled in. Well that sucks. That basically ruins whatever little push I was going to do. But like I said guys, it's not necessary. I've been kind of trying to show you guys what you can do, as opposed to maybe what you should do. Armed and ready. Oh, it's on. Did we get the range upgrade? I'm not sure if we did. Base is under attack. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. And now we've just got a bunch of guys whose job it is to repair. Goliaths with the range upgrade are quite good Mineral field depleted. at helping to deal with Protoss. Um, however, I think I just have the one that lets them attack both land and air, which is good versus uh, Colossus, because I think anti-air attacks Colossus because they're so tall. I could be wrong on that, but I, I think I'm right. Let's go see. We could probably push our way up this ramp, especially if we use the drill as backup. In fact, I'm just about positive we can. By the numbers, boys. Just keep the drill. And use the drill to help us take out troublesome units. Oh, wow. Oh, we're getting wrecked on the ramp. I think we attacked into an attack group. And if we really wanted to do this, we should probably build more barracks as well. And like I've, like I've already said, guys, none of this matters. We're just kind of messing around. But I know I, I'm almost positive I have this achievement already. All right, hopefully he doesn't shoot the Zealot. Kill the Immortal. Kill some of the Colossi. The doctor is in. Just make sure they don't uh, cause undue havoc. Mineral field depleted. Oh, we're actually losing stuff now. Mineral Despite all of our healing, that's insane. I'll tell you what, your new job, make a couple extra siege tanks. I mean, we've got 5k minerals. Well, we've lost a lot of our siege tanks on this side. Only 16k left on the door. You can see we're actually physically cutting through door after door. Base is under attack. Could use a few more repairs over there. We've got a whole army of them just sitting here, not doing anything. Go ahead. Speak up. Bad news. Send those guys out to die. Our SCVs are under attack. Get them, SCVs. But yeah, I've done this mission before where I've actually wiped out all, like, this entire area of Protoss. It can be done. This is bad placement. I wish I hadn't put that there. Alright, 
numbers. I don't know how much time this is going to take, but we're going to be here for a little bit, guys. Feel free, honestly, to fast forward. I don't think it's worth it for me to continuously try to, uh... Yep. To break that high ground position. I probably can. Let it roll out. But it feels like this is going to take a hot second. Come on, Drill. Exhausted. Want to be careful. We don't want to actually run out of our mineral reserves. Base is under attack. Absolutely. And if you're trying to be cheesy, guys, just spam all the siege tanks. You three aren't doing anything. If I wanted, I could completely block this up. Just stick some more dudes in there. Since we're not, like, going out to attack. What's going on? Yeah, whatever. Base is under attack. Stalkers have 160... HP essentially. Go ahead and build another missile turret here. By the numbers, boys. Go on. Let's just put our marines in here. Vespine Geyser exhausted. All right, huh? and our boys just sadly have nothing to do now. Well, we're almost into the Zelnaga Temple. Started with a hundred thousand HP. Just make some Goliaths to defend it. If anything comes in the air, they'll be able to take it out. But this one can get pretty damn hairy, especially if it takes you a long time to pick up on the whole, like, using the drill to defend your base. Because you really should. Because it can feel like you don't need to, but every time you lose a siege tank or something like that, to some Colossus you could have just taken out with a little bit more care on your micro, it sets you further and further behind, and you can get so far behind in this mission that it, you start to get desperate. There we go. The immortals go down. And now I think they're just going to send kind of a bit of a constant stream, maybe. Because that's a lot of zealots. Zealots are pretty damn jacked. 150 HP on these guys. But our kill zone is pretty... pretty great. With their upgrades, they do 65 damage. But we're going to get even better upgrades for them. And our siege tanks are going to be godly by the time we're done. You have... Sacrilege will echo across the stars, Jade's radar. The day of reckoning draws near. These artifacts of yours seem real popular, Tychus. What do we care? As long as the pay's good. Really? I'd say getting vaporized by the Tal Dream definitely counts as diminishing returns. Yeah, for real. I didn't get this done? Look, guys, I think I'm actually somehow playing on like a version of this game where I don't have all of my achievements I don't know how like my account would have got like reset that way but I'm pretty god dang sure and I I've said this before in some of the other episodes that I'm pretty sure I had some of these achievements that it says I don't have hmm yeah I'm not too sure about that I can't say definitively but there'll probably be one in the future that I'm gonna be like I know I had that
Zeratul. I have pierced the veil of the future and beheld only oblivion. Yet one spark of hope remains. You will hold her life in your hands. And though justice demands that she die for her crimes, only she can save us. Wait a second. You're talking about Kerrigan. It's been four years. You show up out of nowhere. Time is oh. short. You must understand. The answers you seek lie within. Study it well. The fate of creation hangs in the balance. Nice to see you too. Damn. I basically totally forgot about this. I've heard of these Eon crystals before. Supposedly they allow you to relive another person's memories. But for Sarah Tools uncovered, he was desperate for me to see it too. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah, guys, we don't have to do that right away. We can talk to everybody first, and we should. Um, let's see. So, this is a really cool part of this game that, I, like I said, I kind of forgot existed. But we have to play multiple Protoss missions to kind of learn the prophecies that Zeratul has spoken of. Zeratul is a very interesting character. He's basically a hero of the Protoss people. Kind of a fallen hero. They have this whole, like, if you think of them like elves, they have kind of a, like a high and dark elf kind of thing going on. And he's something of like a dark elf. If that makes any sense. I know it probably doesn't. Uh, but he's a good guy. He's definitely on our side. And we have a bit of a history with him that I won't really go into. Uh, but it'll become actually more clear as we play through this game and if we play through any of the others. But for now, we're going to play this uh, because it also, they act as missions. They also give us resources that we can use to upgrade our stuff. And it's cool because they don't really advance the main story so much as they are kind of like side missions uh, more so. So let's go ahead and read the Protoss tank. The Protoss crystal continues to grow. I no longer think it is drawing from the ship. It's getting pure energy from that sphere above it, which presents a new worry. What's it doing with all that power? Is it going to release it explosively? I have to keep Swan away from the sample. He will definitely shoot it out the airlock with me strapped to it. I tried scraping smaller samples, but all my tools broke. Luckily, I found some cast off chips floating in the tank. Wonder how they came off. In any case, the chips revealed more of the matrix. It's keeping the energy there in a vortex. How does it move the energy so fast? And maybe the fabled Protoss warp technology. For all its complexity, the matrix is as solid as the strongest structure. Hmm. I wonder if I could apply these dynamics to our own structures. Make a note. I'm learning so much from this crystal, but I can't help feeling as if it's learning from me, if that makes sense. Late. Tired. Sleep now. So Stepman has been studying the heck out of these things. And he's going to make a note, I think, at some point that it feels like the Protoss energy, technology, whatever you want to consider this, is kind of helping him learn. And it's pretty damn sweet. Let's look at the artifact. Well, we have three pieces now. Nervous. Can you tell me any more about them? It's interesting. The one from Zill is different than the others. However, I think all of them once constituted a single device. You mean they make something bigger? It would seem so. It's just a theory, but there's an attraction between the artifacts we've collected. A kind of harmonic resonance. Given the points of contiguous translinear alignment, I think they'd be drawn together like magnets under the right field adjustment. Okay. Well, don't adjust anything just yet, Doc. <laughs> I like them aligned just the way they are. Alright, let's talk to I Dr. Hansen. I see Hansel. we have a new acquisition. Is it a Protoss device? That's right. But I wouldn't mess with it if I were you. It's a Kaderan Ehan crystal. It's a memory storage device. It lets you experience what other people have seen or done. It can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Yet you don't fear it at all. You're a fascinating man, Jim Rayner. You know more about the Protoss and the Zerg than any of the experts I've read about. And if this wasn't a video game, she would have been blushing, for sure. You're so strong, James Rayner. Okay, this is a pretty big um, kind of technological step for us here. 
Supply depots being built instantly is so wonderful. Not having to babysit, not needing multiple SCVs, just going boom, 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 and then they're all built. Making it really hard for you to get supply blocked. So it says here, we can now call down supply depots straight from orbit due to our new understanding of Protoss architecture. Key pivot joints have been added to the supply depot structure, allowing the supply depot to survive the violent turbulence of breaking through an atmosphere. Now an SCV simply has to place a beacon, and the crew on the Hyperion will handle the rest. And then the next one here is microfiltering. Uh, refineries produce Vespine gas 25% faster, and it also will apply if we decide to get the automated refinery. Combining Terran and Protoss filtering techniques allows our refineries and automated refineries to reclaim a higher amount of Vespine gas in its purest form. So I'm going to go with the micro filtering because I, I do plan on getting the automated refinery instead of the two SCVs. This lets you snowball much faster in a mission, uh, but this lets you in the long run dedicate less of your supply to SCVs, uh, which I value pretty damn high. So happy to get that cool tech. Uh, let's go talk to everyone else before we interact with the crystal. Ah, we've got the siege tank on deck. Let's take a look at it. Crucio siege tank. Armed with twin 90mm cannons, the Crucio is an expensive upgrade to the original Arclight Siege Tank. The 180mm Siege Mode Shock Cannon scatters superheated tungsten in a 50% larger area. Dominion Infantry Soldiers are universally convinced that Crucio operators inflict more damage on friendly forces than on the enemy. Consequently, Crucio operators stick together during shore leave. Makes sense. Wendell Slavins, an early Crucio operator, installed a sophisticated surround sound system into his ride. Sergeant Slovens was subsequently cut off and surrounded when he failed to hear the order to fall back. Let's talk to Swarm. We're rocking some serious heavy metal now that we got siege tanks. Yes, sir. The comforting thunder of the big guns. Well, comforting when they're on our side. Yeah, these newer tanks have better guns when they're on the move. And reinforced armor. So long as they still got the range in siege mode, the rest is just gravy. Between siege tanks and bunkers, we can hold the line against just about anything. Damn right. Let's take a look at our armory console. Now siege tanks are on the menu. And we could go for Maelstrom rounds. Deals plus 40 damage to primary target. Splash damage remains the same. That's a hell of an increase, guys. So like it's showing here, you got two siege tanks, you're doing plus 80 damage to a single target. We can read that later. I don't know if I'm going to go for that just yet. There's so much other stuff I want to get. Oh, the SCV upgrades are now available. So multiple SCVs can build a structure. Each additional SCV reduces build time. Building costs remain the same. Um, that could be pretty cool. Like it's showing here if you want to quickly build another command center. Um, I don't know if we absolutely need that. Uh, but the dual fusion welders is very important. Uh, the SCV's ability to get damaged mechanical units back to full life and even to repair units while they're taking damage has been a key advantage over the Protoss and the Zerg. The dual fusion welder allows SCVs to repair at twice the speed, improving their ability to keep damage units alive in the heat of battle. That's something we're going to want to get 100%. Uh, and I do still want to get the Juggernaut plating as well. Um, yeah, we didn't have the range on our Goliaths. Feels bad, man. Let's hold off on any upgrades until we visit the Cantina. Because we have new mercs to buy. Siege tank mercs. The best kind. These guys are called the Siege Breakers. They've got 66% bonus damage and 33% bonus HP. A small but elite unit of ex-Confederate siege tank pilots they claim they can solve all your problems with one shot from their customized and overcharged cannons. They're in. They're super damn strong. And let's go through all this and then we'll decide what purchases we want to make. Had any visitors lately? I don't know what you're talking about, Tosh. Oh, I think you do, James Rayner. Something was on this ship just now. I still smell it on you. Portos. Interesting. Whatever you think you know, you just keep it to yourself. I hear you yapping about this, and I'll toss you out the airlock. <laughs> Strong response, but okay. Yeah, Tosh just is a knower of things. Gotta get used to that. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN. Tonight, 
The Zerg Invasion. The battle so far. The Terran Dominion is holding firm under Zerg aggression. Our industrial complex has stepped up production on all fronts. Enlistment rates have risen within the penal system, and the Marine Corps is ready to get in the fight. The Zerg won't know what hit them. Donnie, has there been any word on when we start pushing the aliens back? Kate, if I revealed that, I'd be giving away vital Dominion secrets. You think the Zerg watch our broadcast? I know they do, Kate. <laughs> I know they do. <laughs> Well, you heard it here first, folks. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. The Zerg Watch TV. They got all the so channels. We've got three of these artifacts on my ship. When are we supposed to hand these damn things over? They got their hands full right now. The Zerg are about to invade Tirador, where Mobius' main research center is. I don't reckon we'll hear anything from them until they relocate somewhere safe. Wonderful. Yeah, we've been collecting all this stuff for them, and they're not even going to come and pick it up. Go to the bridge. See what Matt's up to. You ain't going to believe this, but I just saw Zeratul on the ship. Uh, how much did you have to drink tonight, sir? He was here, Matt. And he was hurt. On the run from something. And where is he now, sir? I don't know. But he ain't on the ship anymore. He gave me an Eon memory crystal. And he was desperate for me to study it. I guess he wants me to see what he's seen. I mean, he basically counseled us not to kill Kerrigan, if we get the chance. Not to kill, you know, the quote-unquote Queen of Blades. Uh, or else, perhaps, the entire universe will uh, be destroyed. That's kind of his portent of doom. So we now have Haven. My people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus, and they are on the verge of Protoss space. Jim, I'm worried that something has gone very wrong. The next mission we do is definitely going to be Torsonus. Uh, let's, however, go to the laboratory first. You know what, let's go to the, the armory, actually. We have some money, we need to spend it. Um, let's get... Whatever it is we can get. I'm gonna go for the dual fusion welders. Their ability to repair twice as fast is definitely useful. Especially in, in sieges and holdouts. And then, now we go back to the lab. And we're gonna probably, I think we've got time. We can do the first of these Amor. missions. The hounds of the void are closing in. I impart my memory. My very essence into this Ehan crystal so that you will see what I have seen and that the future may yet have hope. Alright, so let's launch. Wish me luck. Some of these are pretty Sorry, tough on too. hard. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? Friend Raynor, long has it been since we stood together against the swarm. Since then, I have wandered the void in solitude, seeking an ancient prophecy rumored to foretell the return of the Zelnaga. My sojourn led me to a remote world known as Ulan. Where I discovered fragments of the prophecy, yet I was not the first to find them. It falls to you now, old friend, to relive my memories and believe. Rose to 
fight them. Now, the Zelnaga that forged us all are returning. But do they come to save? Or to destroy? Files this place, Kerrigan. Do you hear them, Zeratu? Whispering from the stars. The galaxy will burn with their coming. Perhaps. But you won't live to see it. Oblivion together. Never. Fate cannot be changed. The end comes. And when it finds me... I shall embrace it at last. The prophecy is uncertain. There is always hope. How sick was that cutscene? <laughs> That's pretty damn awesome. But yeah, Zeratul ain't nothing to F with, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, Protoss units have shields that absorb damage and slowly regenerate when the units are not in combat. We're gonna get a little crash course in Protoss play. I will be redeemed. He does a ton of damage. He's invisible. We must not hesitate. The prophecy was divided into fragments, each kept at separate shrines. I must gather them and depart this world quickly. Glory to the Firstborn. This chasm is vast. It is fortunate that I can phase through the shadows to the other side. In Rashagal. And it's teaching us that he has the ability to blink. Sukdash Salak. So this is one of those kind of dungeon missions, you know? I will 
fulfill my calling. Well, we've got to control a hero and, and sort of figure it out. Spore crawlers can detect my presence. I should stun them with my void prism. And our shields will regenerate. And while it's stunned in the void prism, and read what it does there, we take it out. And now they can't see me anymore. My allegiance is yours. Sukdash Salak. En Arudin Rashagal. Okay. So what we want to do basically is like blink in I will fulfill my call and then void prism it instantly. En Arudin Rashagal. We might as well take everybody out. We can also Our void prism them. Um, we destroy the creep tumor, so the creep will slowly disappear. We must and not they can only burrow inside a creep. That spore crawler can detect me from across the chasm. It must be destroyed. It's one thing this game does so well. It's just giving you the tutorial. Hands. Before it actually expects you to do something. Higher will be restored. We don't necessarily have to kill all of these. In the service of I, that overseer can see through my cloak. I'd best stun it with my void prison before crossing this chasm. Go kill all these. There we go. We, we can't attack air. Not hesitate. The first fragment of the prophecy. Soon all will be made clear. Why not surrender yourself to oblivion, Zeratul? Wouldn't it be better to end your struggle now than witness the final agonizing moments of your species? The foreboding prophecy weighs heavily on my heart. I'd best reach the remaining shrine. My... So much for Kerrigan's reprieve. I will fulfill my call. Oh, Shakuras. Show that must be over. I will. I am the voice of the Eclipse. We are one. Speak thy bid. I am the heart of. They've given us stalkers. Greetings, exalted one. We are here in the service of High Templar, Karas. He is nearby. Your presence is most welcome. Let us keep moving. Permit us to destroy their defenses before we proceed. I feel like I did not do this correctly. My allegiance is yours. Ah, there's an achievement for not taking any HP damage. I did this totally wrong, but it's not it's not terrible. Should have used the stalkers. I should have put him in stasis when he's over here. Use the stalkers from here to destroy him. This whole mission is like a big puzzle. You address me. En Arudin Rashago. No, 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 no. Honor commands. Alright, my shield's barely held for that. Sukdash Salah. Pick this out first. That way the Ultralisk won't have anywhere to hide. Fulfill my calling. And the stalkers can come in and take out the Mutalisk. And what we can do is put one of the mutilists in stasis so that it's it's just a a, a 2v4. Very well. For the reckoning. My bird. We are I will be cool. You address me. Whew. All right. That patrol of brood lords must be dealt with cautiously. Or we will be torn asunder. Yeah, they're they're super strong. They have great range. Shozak Maknol. En Arudin Rashagal. 
We are one with the shadows. See if we can take him out. Okay, I think that was pretty well Glory done. To the first Stay out of view. We're gonna lock him down with a void prison. Europe. I will erase the deal. Stay thy vision. I will Oh no. I am the heart of darkness. Now Zeratul can defend them. I am the voice. But we need to just get out of here. Veraku, you address me. And then we'll come I back and lock him down. Once again though, playing on hard does indeed make this harder. There are more enemies, which makes every situation we're going to come across just that little bit much more complicated. Need to make sure I have Void Prison ready to go. We are one with the shadow. I will be redeemed. Alright, next area coming right up. And there are secret areas on this map, and that's kind of how we're going to get our... Our Zerg research. You can see we got our Protoss research from finding that first Zelnaga shrine. But the way you get Zerg research is different. You address me. Prepare for an aerial attack. Brace yourselves, my brethren. One with the shadows. Intriguing. Oh, God. I will erase the demons of the past. You require my spirit. Shorzak Makno. I am the heart of God. All right, we did it. Our stalkers are a little worse for the wear, but they made it through. We must not hesitate. And they gave us an additional stalker here. You address me. The Queen of Blades built hatcheries here. She seeks to subvert this sacred world. I shall put an end to that plan. Alright, first things first. We need to take this out. Very wise. Ah. Very well. I serve. I will erase the demon state you require. Almost lost this stalker. Was really trying not to pull it. Okay, we just gotta figure this out. It's not too hard. You require my skill. Shorzak Maknol. I am the void. I will erase the demon. Alright, and with that, we've got a little bit more freedom to maneuver around here. En Arudin, Rasha. For instance, we can come over here and get this crushed. And every one of those that we destroy is kind of a big deal. Because it allows our stalkers to go a little bit further and further around. Let's lock him down over here. Start taking this out. That'll give us a bit more of an angle. My allegiance is yours. State thy bidding. My burdens weigh heavily. Oh, come see, come see, guys. I will erase the demons. My burdens Let's take down this spine crawler here. You address me and destroy the hatchery. I Thankfully, these broodlings have nothing that they can attack. Me. So we're Shows one for one right now, about to be two for one. You require my skills. The second fragment of the prophecy. My task is nearly complete. 
It actually tells you what why you're doing it, which is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this before. The Zelnaga Shrines will provide Zeratul with clues to decipher the prophecy. Bring Zeratul to the beacon before each shrine to uncover these clues. Got it. My. Your hope is an illusion, old fool. If you can so easily read my mind, Kerrigan, you'll see that I'll never give up so long as hope remains. Careful now. Kerrigan has set guards to bar our way. It could be a trap. We should take them out carefully, one at a time, or risk being overwhelmed. For sure. One with the shadows. Oh no, really? You address me? For real game? Wow. I, I am the well, that hurt. You me. <laughs> I didn't know he was in there. I, I am well, the take a second to heal up a little, I suppose. We must not hesitate. Can't believe they they Honor got this commands. much fighting me right now. A little bit of kiting. I will erase Steve. I will be redeemed. And we definitely need Void Prison to make sure that we don't lose anything. Rue Lords are just too tanky and they do too I much damage. I will All right, let's go. The demons of the past. I am the voice of the eclipse. You require my skills. First things first, destroy the Mutalis. My burden. Might as well go kill the Overlord here. I will we can scout ahead. The I am the heart of now that's an upgraded Shazak Overlord. Machnol. When the Zurich upgrade them, they have the ability to see invisible stuff. Oh no. Stalkers, take them out from a distance. I will We. I. You address me. Oh no. Oh, that was so bad. My allegiance is yours. That was so bad, guys. My burdens weigh have I wish I had kited them. The demon we could have there was a point at which we could have moved back. Shawzak Maknol. And I didn't really I didn't really choose to do that. Glory. Alright, I feel like there's probably some stuff burrowed right here. So let's destroy this creep tumor before we do anything else. This hatchery must be destroyed if I am to keep the Queen of Blades from subverting this land. Yeah, we're gonna need our stalkers for this. Very well. Okay. You address me. What is the furthest out? There we go. Go and destroy that, please. Remove. Very good. You require my skills. And then we'll just my wait for the next void prison. Wait. That way we can shut down the spore crawler. Then we'll I, come over here and kill the spine crawler. You address me. We got it. You know what the deal is. I will be. Glad we moved out of there, or else we would have got wrecked I by an ultralist. The demons of the past. En Arudin Rashagal. And once we destroy this, the creep will start to dissipate and he'll be left without a home. Not that we care, he's stuck over here. The Queen of Blades has begun infesting the planet by constructing hatcheries. Destroy them all to delay her efforts. My burdens weigh heavily. Once again, there's absolutely no reason to do this. Kind of just curious how fast the creep starts to deteriorate. Is it deteriorating? Yeah, there it is. There it goes. My allegiance is yours. Let's just see, uh, you know. It's a bit of an experiment. I want to see how much of the creep needs to be gone in order for us to have him pop out. Ooh. 
Wow, they're really cutting it to the last second, eh? Is he right here? I huh. Fulfill I would have thought he had to pop out by now. En Arudin Rashagal. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. In I don't know. Service of Iron. I wonder if it all has to dissipate. But either way, I mean, that's why I, I test need. stuff like that. You and I, I don't want to give you guys bad information. I will be redeemed. You require my... I will um. erase the demons. State thy bidding. Shazak Maknol. Go. My burdens weigh heavily. I am not. I... Oh god. Back out. For the reckoning. Be as you say. This is kind of where you're supposed to learn about kiting. Shows I am. I will erase state thy my birth code. I do wish I had done a bit better of a job at kiting. I am the voice. Spine crawlers. Kill them before they can take root and attack. me it's all right we did good we destroyed the the one extra thing that could could see us I will erase the demons of the past lock this one down could have waited should have waited glory but I think we can destroy it before it dissipates I Templar Karas is nearby we are one with the shadows. Kind of expecting I will be, I am the voice. something to pop out of the creep for me. me. State thy bidding. My burdens weigh heavily. We are one. Shozak Maknol. Antaro Tassadar, Prelate Zeratul. I am High Templar Karas. My force tracked the Queen of Blades to this world, yet we know not what she seeks. Kerrigan and I were both drawn here to uncover an ancient prophecy. With your aid, I pray we can discover it before her. It is an honor, Great One. Lead on. God. We gotta help them a lot. Or else they're just gonna get wrecked. You address me. I will erase the you address Let's go. me. I've placed the ultralisk in a void prison. Bring it down, Karas. Burden darkness. You address me. Oh no 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 no. Zerg tool, can you destroy the Airborne Zerg? 100%. Lock them down. We are one with the shadow. These Nidus worms must be destroyed, or the Zerg reinforcements will overwhelm us. You address me? Warn them on the high ground. We did it. Zeratul has destroyed their worms. Press on. That's a lot of zealots left alive. I will erase the demons of the past. The final piece of the prophecy. It speaks of one who shall break the cycle of the gods. Most ominous. But if the Queen of Blades seeks this prophecy, we must keep it from her. The rest is obscured. What? You might peel away the prophecy's layers, Zeratul. But you cannot outrun the doom that awaits us all. We can't 
cannot prevail against so many. I will stand against the Queen of Blades while you escape with the fragments. I will not abandon you. The prophecy is more important than either of us. Reveal its secrets, Zeratul. The future rests on it. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, brother. Okay, I'm worried I forgot to kill one of those, uh... You address me? I must get to the Void Seeker before the did I mess that up? overwhelm me and the prophecy is lost. I certainly did, guys. Um, let's see, honestly, let's reload. Should be able to do it from here. I hate to do it, guys. I think it'll be right before we captured this. I don't know where it's going to load it from. But there was... Oh, no. There was another Zerg hatchery over here. And I ran too quickly to, uh... To give you guys the cutscene, and I was like, oh, no. I, I knew it as soon as I did it. I was like, I bet I'm not going to get a chance to, uh... To get this done. But all it means is we get to do this kind of cool part over again. I've placed the Ultralis in a void prison. Bring it down, Karas. It's over here. And you gotta use the high ground to get vision of it. So sorry about that guys. Darkness. Intriguing. Zeratul, can you destroy the Air One Zer? Zeratul. These Nidus worms must be destroyed, or the Zerg reinforcements will overwhelm us. It's over here, guys. That's where we gotta go. My and I made the mistake. But you know now that we've gotta escape right afterwards. You must not hesitate. Zeratul has destroyed their worms. Press on. All right. Shozak Maknul. And here it is. I don't know if we're going to need our stalkers for this. The Queen of Blades seeks to pervert uh. this world with that hatchery. I must destroy it. Well, I was trying to see if I could In pull. The service of ire. But I guess not. Um, this is going to be a little bit brutal. I am the voice of the Eclipse. I I'm thinking... The oh, they made more roaches. The <laughs> awesome. So... What I need to do is... Probably VP so this one. Come over here and destroy this as quickly as I can. My allegiance is yours. Honor. Oh! Alright, I messed that up. Ha! Huh. Damn it, guys. Let's, uh, let's load the last checkpoint. Yeah, I think you're supposed to bring your stalkers up here, and you're supposed to kite the roaches back with the stalkers to clear the way for you to go ahead and do that. One more time. It frustrates me, too, but we want to do it right. I've placed the Ultralis in a void prison. Bring it down, Karas. Good storms from him as a High Templar. I will be redeemed. Zeratul, can you destroy the airborne Zerg? I require my skills. Am I leaving behind a stalker or something? Or did I just lose one? These Nidus worms must be destroyed, or the Zerg reinforcements will overwhelm us. My Using Zeratul to quickly take these down is so good. And we know we've got Ultralis coming. Zeratul has destroyed their worms. Press on! Alright, let's go do it correctly this time. I am the heart of 
of darkness. Very well. Very um, cold okay. is the well. Shozak Maknol. I, I am can they not reach the eclipse? Okay, they can. You require my skills. That's where blinking can get a little bit aggravating as a mechanic. I state thy bidding. I will. The Queen of Blades seeks to pervert this world with that hatchery. I must destroy it. Cold is. My burdens weigh heavily. I will erase the demons of the past. I am not. You require my skills. I am the heat. I am the voice of the eclipse. I will erase. And I mean, the just like that, that was that. Wish I hadn't been so kind of lazy the last time, or else we would have done this much easier. All right, let's bring these dudes out of here. So that way we have them for the last bit of this mission. Are you serious? Oh, I think we need to teleport down this way. Got it. These guys will disappear after a minute. I am the voice of the eclipse. I just don't want the Brulings to attack my stalkers. It is done. All of Kerrigan's hatcheries are destroyed. There is yet hope for this world. One with the All right, let's teleport you down. Me. I will and now let's do it. Calling. I will be Horns, Na Adam, to command me. I am the heart of darkness. We stand as one. And we can go ahead and skip through it. Let's get the hell out of here. I must get to the Void Seeker before the Zerg overwhelm me and the prophecy is lost. I Keep on moving, guys. Part of this is knowing when to destroy a barrier and when to just blink. Right now, we've got to destroy the barrier. And we're out. I cannot decipher the fragments on my own, yet I know who might interpret them. The preservers of Zakul. If they cannot, I fear this entire universe will burn. Yeah. Complete on horror without Zeratul suffering life damage. Can be done. Just gotta be real kind of finessey about it. Hyperion Lab, shipboard time, 15.32. And we can go right back in, because even though we unlocked three uh, DNA or whatever research points each, we didn't get the next tier, and I would like to have, I don't necessarily need the Predator or the Hercules uh, transport ship, but getting like automated refineries for our next main missions would be awesome. And we're going to do that at the beginning of the next episode, but for now, let's go ahead and get okay, some of these dialogues. Before you start asking. You were staring at that Protoss device for a very long time. Are you sure? Well, now you mention it, I could use a drink. Or two. Maybe what I saw would make more sense if I was drunk. What was it, Jim? An old friend of mine. Looking for the end of the world. And he probably found it. Let's go to... So we didn't get any credits, but we did get lots of research. We still want to talk to everybody, though. There are going to be some new dialogue options. I don't think you got... We actually have anything in here. No. Just kind of popped up for no reason. Let's go to the cantina. 
Tosh is going to have some insight as usual. Good to see you, brother. I've been... Wait. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen into the spirit world. The Protoss. He gave you a crystal. And now you've been seeing what he's seen. That ain't nothing to do with you. Stay out of my head, Tosh. Have it your way. But you want to trade careful when you go looking into the beyond. If you need me, you know where I'll be. He's the man to ask. How did you become such good buddies with those freaky Protoss? All I hear is they kill Terrans like you and me on sight. Some of them would. But some others would fight to the death protecting people like us. I helped them defend their homeworld from the Zerg during the first war. When Kerrigan came back leading the swarm, I helped him out again. They're real big on loyalty. Damn, Jimmy. Almost sounds like you respect them. I wouldn't expect you to understand, Tychus. We have a very special guest today, Crown Prince Valerian. Thank you so much for joining us, Highness. Thank you, Kate. It's wonderful to be here. Let me get right to the question on everyone's mind. Is there anyone special in your life right now? Truth be told, Kate, I've had a crush on you for many years. Oh, stop. <laughs> but in all seriousness, with the Zerg invasion, there's little time for such things. I've been studying military tactics under General Warfield, and whatever spare time I have is devoted to statecraft. It's my goal to be the best Emperor our people could ask for. When the time comes, of course. Wonderful. Now I've got two of them to worry about. <laughs> yeah! He's gonna become quite the character in this story. And we still have yet to visit the bridge. Let's do that and go talk to Matt. How long was I down in the lab, Matt? You've been gone for hours, sir. You've been in the lab all that time? I used the Eon Crystal Zeratul gave me. I swear it only lasted a few minutes. So vivid. Zeratul's been searching for a Zelnaga prophecy about the end of the universe. There's more. Just haven't got to it yet. Did we unlock another... Main mission? We did. New Folsom. Not gonna click on that yet. Um, because when we come back next time, guys, we are gonna go back into the crystal. I gathered allies, and we made our way to the forbidden archive world of Zakum. There, a triumvirate of mystic preservers awaited us, and in the shadows, something else was watching. Yeah, this, this whole story is about to get real sci-fi uh, in this next episode, guys. A Sinister Truth. It's going to give us those points that we need. And the cool thing about these missions is that it doesn't progress the main story. So we could, you know, theoretically, we could just power through all of them if we wanted to. It's kind of awkward to do that. I kind of like spacing them out a little bit. Uh, but we could potentially uh, get up to these really high tier upgrades. Um, but... I, I think we're going to do the next one. We'll stop, and then we'll go ahead and do the uh, the kind of the train robbery mission, which is pretty damn fun, and we'll, we'll get that done. But, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. My name is Brett, and as always, y'all, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.